I, I, I've never mailed it in. I've never said I was going to take an easier route, mm -hmm. but I've wrestled every style. I've wrestled invisible men. <laughs> I had 30 matches with invisible men in Blackpool, England of all places it was one of the matches that that took place against me and the Visible Man and in a historic wrestling venue in front of Blackpool wrestling fans um, who all stood on their feet after the match and applauded because they thought it was wonderful. Um, yeah, you, you know, know, with those I, matches, Joey, uh, and since you mentioned it, I'm going to mention it a little bit later, but, uh, you know, it's interesting when you watch those because when you first come out and people are like, what the F, you know? And uh, even though they know it's whatever's coming, but uh, it's interesting to see, and maybe you can explain it better, how, how these things, how it starts out. And by the end of it, you know, you've got the crowd involved, you know, where the guy comes out and they all go fall back in their seats. And uh, it's, it's, it's great to see how it hit the, the process of that match. And then, like you said, at the end of it, people are just <laughs> cheering. Uh, yeah. So how, how did you come with the, that? How did that concept come up? And then, to pull it off because you know it's not a little three minute little match it goes on yeah uh, i just uh i told some guy i kept on making jokes say i was gonna come no. to his show and rest the invisible man yeah and he said no come i said i'm gonna come you're gonna i'm gonna wrestle the invisible man and then he said little dojo shows at the ccw dojo back then yeah and uh yes yeah, so i'm gonna wrestle him and uh we did it and then like the local buzz for that match or like, Oh, Joey Janela just did a 30 minute match with the invisible man. And then it turned out like I started touring with this match and I, they wanted me to do it in England at the Blackpool and they wanted me to do it at the ICP gathering, the juggalos. Yeah. And then <clears throat> it's just, uh, you know, it's just me wrestling myself. And, uh, <laughs> it's just, I, it's like, uh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for me. Uh, to really just uh, express my art. And uh, yeah. if you can get a crowd up at the end of a, a match with you wrestling for your, wrestling with yourself for 30 minutes, looking like an idiot to anyone outside that box, um, man, you did something right. Um, I think it's a whole different level of working. <laughs> People call it stupid, but uh, Jim, Jim Cornette couldn't go in there and wrestle yeah. Invisible Man for 30 minutes. <laughs> so. That's very true. Well, and I've got to tell you, the one the one I, I watch, and then you lose, which was just perfect. I think <laughs> I've lost every time. I think I put him up every time. He's yeah. an asshole. You put him over, yeah. Every time. Oh, no, he, no, he won't job. He won't job. That's no, why. Damn, he's, you know, these guys. <laughs> well, 